This kitchen island was built for the homestead, including flour storage, space for a stand mixer and bread pans, and even shelves to store our produce. To top it off, we installed a butcher block to cut directly on. We spent a few weeks imagining this island. I love using tape to outline and get a good idea for a project. We thought about doing a movable island, but later decided we wanted it to be stationary. So that meant we'd be cutting up the floor and securing it to the joists. Doing projects in your house can get real messy, especially when you have open shelving like we do. Copper made sure to make his guest appearance. My biggest fear was that this island was going to shift when we were pushing on it, but this base made sure it didn't move a single bit. I decided to make this island out of plywood. It took three or four sheets. What I liked about this is that it would all hold together well and would take a lot less joinery. The beauty of a project like this is that you don't need $10,000 in tools to get it done. A skill saw on a track makes for some nice cuts. The plywood we used was really smooth and great quality, so I only needed to sand the edges. We filled in the holes and used a nice pistachio color paint. Now it was time to make the doors. We 
We would make these doors out of the same kind of plywood and then rip down some 8 inch plywood to match the rest of the cabinets. I wanted to set these doors before I painted them in case I made a mistake and decided to fill in the holes before paint. This butcher block would not be stained or sealed except for a food grade butcher block oil. Makes it real shiny. I don't know if it's gonna stay like that. Oh, I cannot wait. Can't wait to use this. I hope it stays this nice, rich color. I'm sure it'll fade after a while, but that oil sure does make it look nice. We're gonna be doing a couple coats of this. That just makes the wood pop. I'm extremely happy with how this island turned out. It's so nice having more counter space and an area to work directly on. The only thing left to do is to break it in with some steak and potatoes. <laughs> 